It worked fantastic. Hi guys, welcome back to the RC Store. My name's Ammo. Guys, new toy day today. Look what we got. We got the Cross RC Emo X3. Now, summer's upon us, guys. We've got loads of new RCs. And I thought to myself, I want a new crawler, but I want something different. Now, Cross RC, guys, has become really popular over the last couple of months. So much attention has been drawn to the brand, and I had to get one on the channel. Now, this Emo X3 has been out for a little while. However, they're becoming so popular, and the demand's getting higher and higher. I thought to myself, I need to get one. So this is a tow truck slash recovery truck. It has an operating winch, it's one eighth scale. It has portal axles. Guys, this thing looks amazing. So what we're gonna do in this video, guys, I'm gonna go through the box art. Once I've gone through the box art, we're gonna unbox it and have a look at this in detail. Guys, let's get into this. So looking at the box art, guys, it looks very striking. As you can see, it's a one eighth scale. And this is the RTR version. This, I believe, is two speed as well guys as stated there it's four wheel drive it's got lockable front and rear diff which are independent you've got your rear balance bar it's got a 25 tooth brushed motor two speed transmission you've got the battery tray sitting there the steering servo and 136 mil 2.2 velociraptor tires so looking at the back of the box there guys as you can see the four wheel drive system the two speed transmission the upgraded heavy duty ladder frame. Well, we call it the chassis, the frame chassis stated there. The shock absorbers, guys, they look fantastic. It's got port up axles with independent locking diffs. Guys, this looks absolutely fantastic. It's got realistic lights on there, which all come included. It's got a 10 kilo winch, as you can see, that's all included as well. This is a full RTR vehicle, guys and it looks amazing you can see some dimensions on the box on this side feel free to uh, pause the video if you do want to look at them in depth but i'll quickly scroll through them just to show you the different measurements there guys this is available in a couple of different colors and we were given the option of flame red and metallic black and we went for the metallic black guys i've not seen this myself so it's the first time i'm looking at it it's the first time i've seen a cross rc emo x3 in person so guys i'm going to unbox this with you guys and let's get into it this box is absolutely huge hence i'm now standing up um i have just have i no i haven't i thought i've got the tape off but i haven't just open the tape at the back I'll pull everything out the box guys and I'll show you in detail absolutely everything that comes in here. So guys, pulling the car out the box, this is what it comes like. I will remove all this packaging. Let me do that and I'll spread everything across the desk and let's go through everything in detail. Guys, I've got it all unboxed and wow, this looks fantastic. I've not had a proper look at this yet. I've literally just unboxed it. But we'll look at that in a second. Let's go through with absolutely everything that comes in the box. So you've got this nice, I believe it's a Dumbo style, it might even be a Dumbo pistol grip controller. Really smart to be fair. You've got a nice foam grip on there. It's not mega, mega distance away from your thumb, but there is still quite a bit of distance. I would have preferred that slightly closer, just so you can record and control with single handedly, but I think you definitely need two hands, unless you put some sort of clip on the back there. It's got a fair few controls on this, guys. It's got a nice carbon fiber grip, as you can see, that runs all the way across the handle and across the front. Over on the top, you can see instantly your on and off button just there. And then here, you've got channel three and four. And it's also labeled exactly what channel three and four does. And I believe three and four, you can independently lock the diff. So if you want to lock the front diff, you press one and then unlock it. And if you want to unlock the other, again, and if you want to lock both diffs, you press both of them, obviously. Inside, you have your steering position. You've got your throttle position. You've got your dual rates there as well for both of them. 
I'll just zoom in there for you guys. You've also got some dip switches. I believe the dip switches will adjust your motor settings like your drag brake, etc. But that's a nice, handy thing to have so you can adjust things on the move. On the side here, you've got two buttons, which is channel 5 and channel 6, just there. So channel 5 and channel 6 is the winch. So the truck's got an operating winch on the back, which can obviously hook up to a car and you can drag it in, etc. And we're going to test it out in this video, guys. Another channel here, which operates your gearing, which is for high gears and low gears, which once again, two-speed transmission. You can use this as a crawler. You can also use it as a trail crawler as well which is fantastic, gives you that option. Another two channels here, nine and 10, and they also say in and out. I need to check that out. One of them is definitely for the rear winch. The other might be an optional for a secondary winch. Um, I don't know yet, like I said, I've not even gone into this. You have got a, another channel here, which I believe is channel eight here, which controls all your lights. In terms of the controller itself, like I said, Dumble style controller, really, really nice. Uh, the only downside, I would have preferred that wheel to be slightly further back, but it works. Also, you get some decals in this, guys. Additional windscreen and side windows, etc. if you do wish to put them on. You've got the cross towing service stickers, a couple of warning stickers, some side repeaters, etc. if you do wish to use them. I prefer my um, trail rigs to look realistic and as minimalistic as possible but each to their own. You do get some Cross RC logo decals as well. And that comes in the pack. And then they've also given you, well, I don't know whether everybody gets this. I'm not sure. There is another pack here. It says gift. Now, once again, I don't know whether everybody gets this because it looks like it's packed separately. Uh, but in here, you get a 1.5 mil, a two and 2.5 mil, Allen key screwdrivers along with um, some thread lock as well just there that's a real real nice touch as a gift guys over here you get a a lanyard now that's obviously to control stick to your controller and you also get this also says gift on it guys uh, once again I don't know if this comes with all of them but it does state gift you got a cross wrench and you've got a couple of screws, etc., in there. So they've given us a Cross RC Emo X3 USB stick as well. Oh, nice. So a few touches there. Guys, the truck itself, this just looks fantastic. Absolutely love this. Now, you guys, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I got into crawlers some time ago, and one of my first purchase crawlers was the SCX6, the Honcho. And that looked very similar to this. Now, you probably see it. I've got it sitting here. The honcho is a 1.6 scale, so it's slightly bigger than this. I will bring it on the desk a bit later to show you the size comparison. But this, guys, looks absolutely amazing. The detail. Oh, I absolutely love it already. It's got some weight behind it. I'll give it that. Um, you've got realistic lights up across the front. Um, the winch up at the back. The tyres themselves feel okay, to be fair. They do feel grippy, but I believe they're not as grippy in the centres. They've got a lot of grip on the edges, but we'll have to test them out, I guess. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera in and give you guys an in-depth view of this, show you the cockpit. We'll take the shell off. Let's see inside. So looking at this truck in detail, guys, look at that nice Ford grille. As you can see, this is a Ford-based vehicle. I believe it's not licensed. If you have a look around... Them tyres look nice. It's just this bit was my concern. Um, it doesn't look like they got enough tread on the centres to grip. Though they're like really, really grippy. They do feel like dual stage foams in there. Uh, but the side walls are amazing. So it should hook up quite well. You can see the suspension underneath there, guys. I will take this shell off and show you. The body looks fantastic. So scale looking. If you look inside there, the windows are tinted, unfortunately. Um, I would have personally preferred them to be clear. But inside there, you've got a driver and a full cockpit there as well. Looking at the back wheel here, as you guys can see, 13655R2.2. Uh, there are the tyres. Rear suspension. You do get some accessories already in here, like arguments take the fuel cans. 
you've got your support at the top here for your rear winch as you guys can see and the rear winch is just hooked up on the hooks there so you can use the hooks as well you can put a tow bar in if you do choose to looking at the underneath there it looks mega guys so to lift the shell up you can see just there there's a little clip you literally turn that and that's how the shell comes off so you've got four of them front rear same on the other side and the shell lifts off i've lifted the shell off and now you can see the truck fully exposed uh, looking inside so this is underneath the canopy itself you got your two-speed gearbox there you got your brushed motor sitting there your esc and um, you've got your that's your front diff servo just there and you've got your two-speed gear selecting servo just there i believe it's got the other servo for the rear diff it's hiding under the back cab under here that'll do your rear diff looking over at the front there's another servo just here which is your steering servo now the steering servo is not mounted on the axle it is mounted up above as you can see so i'm guessing this is going to be a three link suspension configuration at the front you do also have a wiring harness here now if we look at this wiring harness it actually goes to the shell so just lifting the shell up and looking underneath there you can see underneath of your interior that's a real thick lead that is i like the concept of that and it goes straight out to all your lighting up at the front of the cabin there, which is a nice touch. Your battery tray is up front, as you guys can see here. Um, so the weight distribution on this truck is towards the front. However, that makes it great for crawling up hills and also balances the weight out if you're actually towing something, I guess. So guys, I've turned the truck onto its side just so I can show you guys the underneath in detail. So as you guys can see, you've got your portal axles going across there. Now, the actual axles themselves and the pumpkin housings are plastic. Um, you can see, like I said there, your portals just there. This is a three-link setup up front. So you've got your panard there. As you can see, the servo is mounted on the chassis just there. And you can see the front diff cable just there to lock your front diff. Going across here, you've got... Um, these are plastic, I believe. I'm surprised. They're sliders. Uh, but they have got metal in them as well. So your props are sliding props there. Going across. And this is all plastic in the centre. You've got your sliders on either side, which are plastic. It has got full protection underneath in terms of covering from mud all the splash guards etc and they're all in plastic across there your four link at the back just there which is metal looking at the rear side guys you can see the rear portal axles just there and once again the axles very similar to the front where it's all plastic and your pumpkin housing there is all plastic as well you do have some sway bars or People use different names for these guys, um, but they're metal just here. And now you can detach them if you wish to. If you detach them, this will articulate a hell of a lot more. However, they are joined in the center. It's a nice little neat touch to be fair. Most crawlers that have these, I only see them with a singular one. Now this has got twin, which is nice. You've got your cable going for your rear differential to the servo. And I did tell you there's a servo up at the back. It's just under here, as you guys can see in there. And that's for your rear diff lock as well. So, so far guys, this looks fantastic. The one negative thing that I found, which I do need to address across to you guys, is I didn't get no manuals with it. So um, that was a bit bizarre. Normally all RCs that we get come with manuals. This didn't come with a manual. So I don't know if that's how they just are or whether they don't give you one. I don't know, guys, but this one didn't come with a manual. Um, but let's go through all the lighting options 
before we have a little blast with this. So lighting options, as soon as you turn it on, so I'm just running this on a 2S LiPo battery at the minute, just for demonstration purpose to show you guys. But as you guys can see, you've got some marker lights that come on as soon as you turn it on. You flick it once, so the, battery, uh, the light button just there, you got your low beams, press it again, you got your high beams, you got your police interceptor lights there, you got your strobes, and then you've got flashing lights, etc. if you're doing a recovery. But yeah, nice little touch there, guys. I don't believe it's got indicators, so I'm turning to the left, turning to the right, there's no indicators there. Let's have a look at the winch itself. So here's the winch, guys. So just pressing that there, it comes at a relative speed. It's not mega fast, but you can appreciate that it's operated at a respectable speed. It's not too bad, to be fair. Let me put another truck here and let's see it lift another truck up. So guys, I've brought out the FTX Gladius. This also gives you a size comparison as well, guys. As you can see, the Gladius is a temp scale. This is an eighth scale. So there is a bit of a size difference. It doesn't dwarf it, but there is that little bit of size difference. Let's see how this winch operates with this. So as you can see, the winch is tightening itself up. It's getting there. Now it's getting tight. As you can see, the truck is getting pulled down because it's trying to pull the weight of this truck. Now this truck, as you guys know, my Gladius weighs quite a bit um, because of all the additional weight, etc. Uh, so you can see it's pulling and this has also got a fusion motor conversion as well. So it's going to be quite hard to pull. But it's pulling it. There you go. And what we can do is back this truck up if we want a bit. No, we don't need to. And there we go, guys. That's all pulled tight. It's holding well. Let's see if we can do a little recovery, right? So let's pull this along. <laughs> it worked fantastic. All right, let's out this. So as you can see, it drops it quite nicely. Raises the back of the bed up because it's not pulling on the weight no more. Nice, you can hook this off. So guys, that pull on the Gladius was actually in high gear. So I've just flicked this over into low gear. Let's have a little crawl on the desk and let's see what it's like in low gear. That's the slowest I'm gonna get it. Uh, that's the downside to this truck but that can be changed if you do want that slow modulation. Um, just put a, a Hobby Wings motor in there, a brushless conversion. It won't cost you a lot of money and that can fix that problem. So let's give it full speed. It's quite fast to be fair. And that's in low gear. Now this is in high gear. Seems to roll a lot better in high gear. And let's have a look at full speed there. Not bad, not bad guys. Right, let's put a tire on the table and let's see if it will climb over this. Now this is gonna catch the bumper, but it's a test. Let's see how it does. Nice and easy. Look at the articulation. All three tyres are on the ground and articulates amazing. I give that to this truck. It articulates really, really well. Nice. <laughs> so the diffs are lockable, guys. You've got two switches here. You press them. You see the blue light go on, same on that side, blue lights go on. The diffs are now locked. And if you press them, again, 
they're unlocked and you can do them independently which is nice um, but yeah guys what a truck so guys a side-by-side -side comparison with the cross rc emo x3 along with the sex6 honcho the sex honcho guys it's a beast it does dwarf this this is only an eighth scale car this being a sixth scale um, excuse all the marks on this um it's not actually scuffed the actual body's got ppf on it and it's the ppf that's uh, marked um i just wanted to keep the body on this one pristine so i ppf it and as you can see if i did ppf it it would have been quite beat up <laughs> but yes guys um this is ppf just to show you guys the front of this wow this weighs quite a bit um, in comparison as well this does weigh a hell of a lot more to be fair though we have beefed this one up a little it's got a wider track running and it's also running some different wheels but as you guys can see the comparison from the front the scx 600 just dwarfs it um this is the ultimate crawler trail rig rc hands down a lot of brands come out and try and compete with this hence we always try and put everything up against this because this is the daddy however this is really cool i'm absolutely looking forward to taking this truck out and see what it's capable of we are going to run it completely stock guys however i hope you've enjoyed this in-depth video and guys we will get this out on the trail now we'll do a bit of a trail run we'll probably take it crawling and let's see how we get on guys if you've enjoyed this content please feel free to like share and subscribe don't forget to smash that notification button and we'll see you in the next one thank you for watching